When working with financial data, you won't always base your calculations on existing data. Sometimes, it will be necessary to run simulations and examine hypothetical scenarios because observed data will be insufficient. In these situations, you will need a whole set of randomly generated numbers. Not surprisingly, Python can cope with this challenge. First, we will have to import the random module. The random function will generate a random float in the range from 0 to 1, 0 included, 1 excluded. The obtained number would represent the probability of an event happening. The probability must be between 0 and 1, right? Let's print the probability we obtained. As you can see, this is a value between 0 and 1. Another random generator is the randant function, which, as its name suggests, will randomize over a provided interval and will deliver an integer value. Let's, so to speak, throw a die in Jupiter. We'd like to see an integer from 1 to 6, right? I'll execute the command. And here is the result. This is my lucky number, actually. I hope you'll agree, it is even more exciting that we can generate more than a single number. How can we fill in an array with values? The word array is reminiscent of the NumPy library, right? Let's import it. Good. The code we'll use is the same. Just attach it to the NumPy library and provide a third parameter to the random function. The latter will indicate the number of rows and columns in the newly created matrix. I'll improvise with a 4 by 6 matrix. Bingo! We were able to fill in the matrix. It is important here to show you Python's mechanics allows for generating numbers in various data structures, and this feature will be relevant later when we learn how to perform Monte Carlo simulation, one of the most popular tools in the world of finance. Keen on learning how you can import real-life data in Python? Well then, that's what we'll learn how to do in our next video, so please stay tuned.